Okay, so now we're going to be discussing about the Venon Norton equivalent circuit. Now, recall from source transformation the following. We were able to take something like this, a voltage source V and a resistance R in series with each other. And we were able to convert it into a current source in parallel to the resistance with the value V divided by R. And this is interchangeable, so we can always kind of reflect uh, that accordingly. Now, this becomes very useful in the situation where we are talking about equivalent circuits. So what do I mean? Suppose I gave you what's called a black box. There's a bunch of components hidden inside. Resistors, capacitors, inductors. However, I don't care about capacitors or inductors in this situation. Let's assume that they don't affect the circuit at all. But inside the circuit, there's a bunch of resistors. So maybe a resistor here, a resistor here, a resistor here, maybe another resistor here that branches off to, an, to the same resistor, and then this resistor. But basically inside, you don't know what it looks like inside. It could look like this. It could not look like this. I could be, um, you know, showing you maybe a portion that isn't really reflective of the actual circuit. So here we have a black box. We don't know what it is necessarily inside, but with a black box, we have something. We have two we have two terminals. If we take the open circuit reading of it, we reflect an open circuit voltage, which we call a Devenin voltage. We can also short. And we can find the current of the, uh, of the short circuit called the Norton current. Now, the quantity Vth divided by In is your equivalent resistance. But we don't write equivalent resistance. We write the Venon resistance or Norton resistance. However, the Venon and Norton are pretty much the same kind of resistance reflected regardless of whether you're using an open circuit test to find voltage or a short circuit test to find current. So this leads to the circuit that we saw in source transformation. For a dependent equivalent circuit, it has to look like this. R and then VTH. For a Norton circuit, It'll look like this, I, N. And this one right here is going to be R, N, or I will put R, T, H. Now, what we have over here is the Venden Norton, the Venden Norton theorem, in which it states that you can take the open circuit reading to find voltage and a short circuit reading to find current. And the ratio between the two gives you an equivalent resistance of the black box. So it doesn't matter what I put inside this circuit. Now, what if I, what if you did open up that black box and you did know that it looks something like this, just to kind of demonstrate our point. Would you want to even evaluate something like this? Probably not it would probably take too long and would probably be impossible to do so very quickly. So with the Venden Norton, we kind of look, we don't look at inside the circuit, but we can reflect it based on the open circuit test and the short circuit test. Now, there are also other equivalent circuits 
for in the case that we have Regardless of that, um, so that's why we use the Ben and Norton equivalent circuits, just for us to be able to evaluate looking at a circuit right away. So there you go. So thank you.